In the 1980s, I lived in a town with around 1,000 residents, for this reason, our town was one of the smallest in America. When growing up in the 70s as a teen finishing school, it can be hard finding things to do around the city. There are no malls, no cinemas, no attractions, however, what we did have was mostly festivals, however, these festivals were once a year and so we would have to wait each year for them to come around. I must admit, when the festival did hit the town, it was nothing like you have ever seen. The town would make it big, and at night, there was always a band playing. This music was so loud and bassy that you could hear and feel it from the next town over. To say the least, that next town must really hate us for throwing our festivals, we only have four festivals with our Halloween being the largest. It was great, the whole town got involved and I would say, the whole town looked something of a ghost town. It was awesome. The best part of our Halloween festival would be the hayride which opened around 10 at night. The whole town would come together, dress up in their scary clothes, and scare visitors. The ride would start at the beginning of the farm and go on a five-mile tour around the farm. We had zombies, scarecrows that would come alive when you get near to them, people with chainsaws that ran up to the tractor, and also props all over the place, including the traditional pumpkin and haystacks which had a path. Here at the farm was also a scary maze made from the sweet cornfield, here it would mostly be ghouls and zombies, it was amazing. Each time it was on, I would take a trip through in the field, and every time it was different, I must say, they really did a good job putting it together and making people scream. This next Halloween that we had coming up, would change the whole atmosphere of the town, thing here would never be the same again never. So get ready as I tell you the story of how one Halloween attraction changed our whole town. This was in the year 75 and we were two months away now from our next Halloween festival. Looking around our town, you could see that so many people were getting very excited about the festival. All throughout the town, people were starting to put up decorations related to Halloween, every shop and house had started to put up the decorations. Every street. Every corner you went down had them. When driving down the streets and looking into garages, you could actually see people making changes to Halloween floats as well as making new floats. You see, on Halloween day, we have a float parade that consists of a lot of people driving down the streets in all types of crazy horror scenes and monsters. I will admit, I too was looking forward to the festival and so had decided to work on my own house with Halloween decorations. I decided that I would try a foggy zombie graveyard type of scene. I had zombies that would jump out at you and well as some that will just sit up out of the grave. That along with a fog machine, made my garden looking scary as hell. Another thing that our city did was also a horror scene competition with our decorated houses, that was judged on Halloween Eve and I couldn't wait for that competition to start. Roll on two months, we are now on the eve of Halloween. My decorations are now up and ready to be judged. Looking around the neighborhood, I can see that I and only two others went way beyond and completely decorated the whole house and garden. The judges came around the neighborhood around 8 at night, that way it would have been scarier for them when these corpses would jump out of their grave and scare the judges. I must admit, it didn't take long. I guess not many people took part in the competition that I thought. There were about five houses that took part and I come in third place. I was thrilled, usually, I would come in last or somewhere near last anyway. Well now the competition was over, I decided to go to the scary hayride at the farm, I wanted to take a ride and see if they made any changes to their scene or whether they kept it the same or not. There was a long line waiting for the ride, it must have taken me about an hour to get on the hayride. But I was pleased to see that they did indeed made a change to the ride, this time they had bodies cut in half with blood and guts hanging out, even so far as to have these half bodies hanging in the trees. It looked like something out of a horror movie, it was brilliant and yet scary, well for those who can't stomach it and kids of course. They even changed the makeup of the people who would jump out at you. I did indeed love it. Considering the hayride was 5 miles long. It took an hour and a half to finish the ride, which is a good buck for your money, and to top it off, you got plenty of scares in too.
Now that the ride was over, there was one thing that I need to do next, and that would be the scary maze. I decided to queue up and wait to get in, they only allow about 5 people at once. The line for the scary maze didn't take as long as the hayride, about half an hour waiting in the queue, so it was quite fast. Considering they were letting 5 people in at once, the line went down fairly fast and before I knew it, I was next in line to go in. Now entering the maze, I could see that they did not stick with the usual blueprint, this would make it harder for me to get through as I did learn the route to the middle and out, however, this did not matter and decided to enjoy myself. I went around corners, down law corridors and kept getting myself lost, I was nervous but also loved it at the same time. I see they used the same style of decorations as on the hay ride. Half bodies here and there with people jumping out at you, they did scare me I would admit it. I came to a very long corridor which felt a little different, there was something off about it, I could not even put my finger on it. I decided that I would take my time down this one. It was very creepy and airy. The corridor I was wandering down was extra dark, there was fog but I could not see any fog machines about, there was also this stench like rotting flesh. If this was fake, then they did a really good job I thought to top myself. I got about halfway down when I stopped and I got this really bad feeling in my stomach, looking up, I saw what I thought was a decoration like the rest, a half torso handing in the air with the lower half on the floor. The blood was still dripping, even I know the fact that when you put fake blood on things, the blood dries up, however, this blood did not. I took a closer look at the body and used my finger to get a dab of blood on my finger, I wanted to look at the blood more carefully. Taking a sniff of the blood, I would say that it was very fresh indeed, like it was put on about an hour ago. This was very strange, but the blood also smelled a little, like it was clotting and starting to rot. I wiped the blood off my finger onto my shirt and take a closer look at the face, it looked very much real. I poked the skin and at the moment, my heart sank, I knew in my heart that this was a real body, someone that was killed not long ago. I did not recognize who this is, must have been someone outside of town, we did get visitors coming to check out the hayride and scary maze. Now knowing that there was a dead body and a killer could still be on the loose, I ran for my life trying to find my way out. After what felt like an eternity, I managed to find my way out and immediately called the police. The owner saw I was distressed and came over to ask me what is wrong as he knew me very well. I told him what I saw and he shut down the attraction straight away, for all we knew, the killer could still be in the maze waiting for his next victim. The farmer decided to turn on the floodlights he set up around the maze, he did this in case someone would panic and could not find their way out. The police showed up and I told them about what I saw, they went into the maze to take a look at the body and to also see if they could find someone hiding out from them. I hate to say, they did not find anyone and so the murder went unsolved, waiting for the next Halloween to strike again.